Hey guys, Pete here with Jaya Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to use the export tool from OpenStreetMap to export data in different formats, different data types for your project. Stick around. Okay guys, so let's get started. So if you search for a hot export tool, you should come up with this um, OpenStreetMap hot export tool as the first result and we could go ahead and click on to that. I'm currently logged in, uh, but you could easily uh, set up a free account. And after you do that and you're logged in, the starting um, page should look like this. So we just click on this blue button, start exporting. So there are four tabs here on the top. So we're just gonna give the, our download uh, a name and a description. We're gonna specify the format we're going to specify what data we want and then we will create a, a subject area that we want to export that data from. So let's go back to the first tab, describe. So I'm just going to say, um, I'm going to pick San Francisco roads. So San Francisco, California, here in, in the United States. So I'm just going to say San Francisco roads. And I could just say San Francisco Roads as a description. This isn't really necessary, but it's good to give it at least a name. Okay, you can either click on Next or you could just go over here to Formats. So we have a, a wide variety of formats you could choose. GeoJSON, GeoPackage, Shapefile, etc. Um, just for this um, example, I'm just going to pick Shapefiles and um, and go from there. Okay, so again, you can either click Next or go up to the tab. I'll click Next this time. And so here are all the different feature types here. If you hover over them, say for example, buildings, you can see that there, it'll describe that there's a point and a polygon for the geometry types. And then the key names, you know, the name, building, address, etc. And then they'll also give you um, a little example for like a query. So if I go down here to administrative boundaries, you see it's just polygons, uh, name, etc. So, or you could also just expand these arrows. So for example, like buildings, maybe I just want the addresses. And you could, you know, select that. You could do multiple, um, uh, extractions you know just the more you click on to this and the bigger your area the longer it will take but it'll still do it um, I'm just gonna uncheck these because again I just want roads and that would be under transportation so if I hover over transportation over here I could see that it's gonna provide me points lines and polygons um, it would have all these different uh, forms of transportation, airways such as airports, railway, etc. So I'll just click everything, unless if I wanted something specific. If I just wanted roads, you know, I would just click roads or railways. But sometimes it's good just to, uh, you know, download the entire set so you can just queer out what you don't need. Um, but obviously, if you're looking for something very specific, you know, just select what you need. And that should be sufficient. So again, you can either click next or you can just come up here to the tabs uh, for summary. Uh, just real quick, so it defaults under the, the data tab, it defaults to this tag tree. It's a very user-friendly, easy way to use, to see what you want and you don't want. There, is, there are there, this config and this YAML. I honestly am not sure what these are. Um, but if this is familiar to you, by all means, go have at it. Uh, I'm not going to go over these because I really don't know what these are. And it's definitely not required. Um, this is just an easier user interface to, uh, to select the data that you like. And I'll go over here to summary. So you can see that my project name is San Francisco Roads. Descriptions are roads. It's going to uh, export as a shapefile. Now, at the beginning, you can always go back too. You don't have to um, 
you can kind of jump around. So if I went to the summary and I see, oh, exports are just shapefile, but maybe I changed my mind and I wanted to also include GeoJSON, I could include that as well. Okay. Now it's gonna it's asking for a, a search area. So I said earlier that I'm gonna focus on San Francisco here in California. And say I just want this area right here. And there's a couple ways to do that. One is to add a box. And I'm just gonna left click once and then the box will start drawing. And I left click one more time and it, it finishes the box. Now, if I didn't want that, I could just click the X and start again. I could also draw, and this is more like drawing a polygon. So if I left click once, the line begins to move. I click again, I create another node. So I could kind of be a little more specific uh, to what I would like. That's another way to do it. Double click and there's your area. You can also click on this view. So if I'm zoomed in here, say I want everything within this, this uh, drawing canvas, I click on this view and here in the shade of blue, that's my area of interest. And if I don't like that, of course I could uh, X out of that. You can also import a GeoJSON. So if you have a file already that you want to use as your area of interest, by all means, you can import it that way. Um, I'll just kind of zoom in right about here and say this view. Um, before I do that, you know, if you're out too far, it's gonna it's gonna error out. It will say that it's too far out. So this, no, well, that's still close enough. If I did this view, it would probably take a while just because it's further out than right about here. Um, but like I, I was saying, if I zoom way out, say here, and say this view, it's gonna say the bounds of this polygon are too large. So you would have to uh, zoom in, maybe do sections at a time. So let's go back here, say this looks sufficient for this example, say this view, and then create export. So I'll do that. And it just gives a little timestamp what you're doing. Uh, right here, it's the status running. This shouldn't take too long. Um, what it will do is it'll email you. When you set up your account, uh, you obviously provide an email address. It'll actually email you when it's done. Or uh, we could do is sometimes you could refresh the browser because this one didn't take too long and already on my mobile device I got alerted that I got an email saying that was done here's the file and uh, it's just a zip file so you can just click on it and download it and now it's downloading okay so I'll open up my file explorer and here's the zip file so if I just right click and I could extract all and I will open this up in ArcGIS Pro. Now there is, if you're using QGIS, there's actually a extension that you could pull the OpenStreetMap data directly into your um, QGIS project. And I'll leave a link in the description down below to a video I did uh, that not too long ago. But if you're using something else, another program such as ESRI's ArcGIS Pro, um, you you would go maybe this route, or if you just need to get that data in general, um, you know you're you'll, you'll be done at that point. So let's go ahead and add a folder connection, and it's going to be my download. And actually, let's open, add a new map. So as you can see, here's my point line and polygon. So we got my three files here. I can simply just select them all, drag and drop onto my map canvas, and here we go. So I'll maybe turn off the points and the polygons. Right, you can see here are my roads, and this is everything. So some of these things are going to be like, uh, like trails, footpaths. 
Let me just go to the attributes here real quick. Attribute table. And you can see I have 57,360 records. And it's going to be at our highway. So if I select, if I sort rather, you see, so I have some unclassified tertiary service roads, residential roads. So you can certainly query for uh, query these out or query just to show just, you know, say footpaths, for example. Um, yeah, there's good. Um, metadata there's really good um, attribute data here so just for example if i want to see all the footways i could select by attribute go over here and select highway is equal to and i select footway apply and say okay and there are all the uh, the footways so it makes sense that they're in these parks right here so yeah play around with that um if you guys have any questions you know, by all means leave a, a comment down below and if you haven't already i appreciate if you guys uh click like and subscribe so you guys are always up to date on the latest videos that i publish every week and you guys have a uh, any requests i do appreciate those as well if you leave those down in the comments and i'll uh certainly try to make those videos in uh for future weeks so thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time